Thank you. All right, head coach Darren Schoenrock with us and uh, kicking off the 14th season here at the University of Memphis with a W today. And we were talking in the post game just a minute ago. Tyler Webb had three hits yesterday or, or this afternoon, but one of the one of the big features of today was some timely pitching by well, your staff. We, you know that those guys we threw out of the bullpen today with Dakota and, and uh, Alex Smith and Hunter. They've taken their lumps as young guys, and they, they we kept running them out there when they were young, and now they're growing up a little bit. That's that's we thought going into the preseason, the bullpen could be a strength for this team, and uh, and it's not going. I told the team afterwards, it's not going to show up and be perfect every day. We still got to find ways when we get a lead to expand leads, expand leads, and uh, but but with a four run lead with our pen, I usually feel pretty good with this club. And just smart, headsy baseball today. I thought Jason Santana was solid, right guy at the right place, right time behind the plate to handle your staff. Yeah, this he's afternoon. really grown up. You know, another another junior that played pretty much every day as a freshman and, you know, had some ups and downs. And you started seeing it the second half of last year. We had to ride him pretty hard last year, and he kind of wore down a little bit. But he's a leader and a catalyst behind the plate. He makes every pitcher feel comfortable and, and executes our defensive package in a big way. Scratching out that one run in the first, some headsy running to score off of that walk. That was that was good, and then of course the rally, which I think was fed off of uh, the way Dakota pitched at the end of the inning. I think the defense carried into the offense. It, it did. That, that really gave us a pickup in the dugout. When you, when you come in like that, and, and what we consider is easy RBI opportunities for the opposing team. When you come in as a pitcher and face those easy RBI opportunities, second and third, nobody out, and you you deny a run. It, it's enough, It's enough. you know, momentum shifts happen on defense just like they do offense, and that was a defensive momentum shift. Big-time play that Kale Henneman made in the four-hole uh, with the, with the, in a, in a one-nothing game that would have tied it up. Uh, I thought Ben Brooks handled shortstop pretty well for a kind of an emergency start. Trello's got a little back issue that we're dealing with, so – but he stepped in there and played well. So a lot of lot a lot of young guys got opportunities. Today. A lot of young guys, and I know you're ready to go not only celebrate but pre prepare because you've got early games tomorrow at 11 o'clock. But I got to ask you, when you made the call to the bullpen to Smith, did they both raise their hand and go me, me, me? How does well, that work we, out? We go Alex Smith is uh, Alex is Smitty, and okay. then then Hunter is Hunter. So okay. that's so we got Smitty and Hunter, and and, uh, and they're two contrasting pitching styles. You know, sure. Alex is more power. Hunters more finesse, and, and so they good they can complement each other a little bit and give hitters different looks. But you know we elected to stay with Hunter uh, in that in that when we, once we got the lead out to four to keep Blake Bennett our closer out of there sure. because we got two games tomorrow. So we elected to ride it out, and that's you know stretching him out over two innings is a little bit different for him. But uh, but today we we called upon him and he and he did it. Yeah, great job. The Tigers win four nothing. Uh, head coach Darren Schoenrock, coach. Thanks for carving out a few minutes. I know it's a quick turnaround, so we want to let you go so you can get your guys out of here and ready for an 11 o'clock doubleheader tomorrow. We appreciate you, sir. Thanks, Tim. Okay. Thanks for the pinch hit today. You, you got it. Go Tigers, go. There's Coach Darren Schoenrock. We'll be back in two minutes with more of the post game. You're uh, listening to this Tigers. afternoon. Uh, pitching the Tigers out of a big bind in the uh, top of the seventh was uh, Dakota Metoxin. He joins us this evening. Dakota, I got to tell you, first game of the year, you come in bases loaded with one out. What are you thinking? Uh, I was just trying to do my job, uh, get us out of that. I knew we had uh, no runs going in that inning. Uh, I just wanted to keep it that way. Uh, really, we just wanted to help out our starter. You come in, you get first guy looking. In fact, mm -hmm. let me look at the box score here. You got, yeah, you got Tyler Robertson looking, who had hit the ball pretty well earlier in the game, and then you had Kevin Lambert, who had made contact twice. You struck him out. Mm -hmm. And then basically you almost punched a hole in your glove coming out. Uh, you you, you look like you were pretty jacked walking off oh, the field. I was pretty fired up. That's a big moment. I, I got, loved it. I got to tell you, you when, when the Tigers went into the, the seventh inning, and talk about the dugout because I know at that moment, you know, it's a one nothing game. It's like, okay, you know, things are kind of on the edge. A lot of people start to panic in that. In your eyes, how was the game? Did the game slow down for you, or is your heart pounding when you've come in bases loaded in a situation like that? Uh, you know, I've only been in that situation once before, uh, so my heart was going pretty fast. Um, I just knew there's, there, I had to get them out. Uh, if I could get out of there with no runs, that's awesome. Um, but I knew it would be big for our team if we came out of there with no runs. Talk about Jason Santana for just a second. Oh, Jason is just, he's the best catcher I've ever had. Uh, one of those strikes out there, he, he definitely pulled it out for me, and uh, that's a big reason why I got that that first strikeout, um, and just an overall awesome dude. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, it seemed like your two strikeouts then led to momentum for the offense, and then coach said Smith was in, so you could just kind of 
after the, you know, we got the four run lead, maybe just kind of kick back and just pull for the Tigers and maybe Correct. rest up for tomorrow. So do you see, is there an opportunity that maybe you're pitching again tomorrow? Uh, I would I would like to pitch again tomorrow. Uh, I mean, Coach you only Mack, threw eight pitches, yeah. dude. I mean, you know. Yeah. yeah. Coach Mack told me to be ready again tomorrow, and okay. I, I'm, I will be. Okay, very good. I know you got a short turnaround. You've been here all day long. Thanks for giving us just a few minutes on the post game. All right, thank you. All right, there he is, Dakota Matoxin joining us. And we're going to wrap up the post game now, and we're going to send it back to the studio.